Okay, so now we are working on the second part of the unit, so up to quiz two. In order to do the second part, of course, you need to be able to do the first. A lot of these units go in order. You want to make sure you're good with the prior material before moving forward. So now that we know how to solve one-step equations, we're able to find the mistakes in one-step equations. So you just want to look at each step, make sure they're calculating everything correctly. So it looks like they multiplied 0 0.5 to the other side, and they got 14, which is incorrect. It looks like they do, they multiplied here and then they divide it. You know, they multiplied here, but then they divide it here. That's not correct. You shouldn't be two, doing two different things on both sides. Here they divided both sides by 8. 72 divided by 8 is not 8. So they calculate it wrong. And here they divided both sides by 3. They got 1.5. This is correct. And here they added two to both sides. They got 5.7. They added two to this side and minus two to the other side. So that's not correct. So yeah, you're just looking to see where the mistake is with these. Okay, so these are actually pretty helpful, uh, especially when you are doing, um, especially when you're dealing with like word problems that are going to, you know, longer word problems. These kind of help you with setting up. So 10 less than J. So 10 less than J is 35. So make sure you have the 10 less than comes after the J, right? 10 is less than J, not 10 minus J, J minus 10. That's totally different. And so we know how to solve one step equations. This would be 45 by adding 10 to the other side. 60 is five times as great as K. Five times as great as K. And so if we divide it both sides by five, we would get K is 12. 29 is, is means usually equal sign, six more than K. So you could do, you know, six more than K, K plus six. For addition, it doesn't matter if you mix it up, but subtraction, it does. Same thing with division. Um, and so K would be 23. K divided by 11. Okay, so 11, K divided by, or sorry, it actually would be K divided by 11 is seven. And so this should be 77 for K. And so yeah, just definitely practice setting these up. And so then here you now have some bigger word problems. Write an equation to describe the situation. Chaz and Tyler have been collecting video games. Chaz has 25 video games and Tyler has M video games. Together they have a total of 65. So 25 plus M equals 65. Miss Lindy is purchasing notebooks for her students. She spends $52 on N notebooks. Each book costs $325. So we don't know how many notebooks she has. So it would be N divided by 3.2. Wait, N times 3.25 equals $52. Because each notebook is 325. But we don't know how many notebooks she had uh, purchased. And so you're pretty much just setting these up. Same thing here. You're setting them up. You're solving. And so that's pretty much the second part of the unit. Just doing word problems setting up and solving. Oh, it must be calculating. Okay, so uh, good luck on this uh, part of the unit. Let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to screenshot uh, any questions you may have and send them to me. But yeah, other than that, good luck.